I've gotten over 60 emblems of heroism this week without doing a single dungeon. I'm going to walk you through the best quest chains to get the most emblems and the most gold. There's even a single ice crown quest chain that gives you 30 emblems. Wow! But before we do that crazy overpowered quest chain, let's pick up some free emblems from earlier zones. Zoldrak. Preparations for the Underworld from Harkoa is part of the Strange Mojo quest chain and gives 5 emblems. Up next, Dragon Blight. After Zoldrak, we're heading to Dragon Blight for Darkness Stirs, part of the Horde Wrathgate questline. Alliance players get their 5 emblems from Return to Angrathar, Storm Peaks, and Rickett. It's time to head to Storm Peaks for the can't miss Rickett questlines at K3. Cell Block Tango even gives 5 emblems. Completing Rickett's questline also unlocks one of my favorite dailies, Overstock. Just look how happy I am. Sons of Odir. Hi, how are you? We can pick up 16 emblems just from quests related to the huge Sons of Hodir chain. The chain starts with They Took Our Men from Gretchen Fizzlespark. Later in the chain, a Spark of Hope from Fjorn's Anvil gives an easy 5 emblems. And battling the elements nets you an additional 5. I've got an add-on that's going to make your Hodir questing completely painless. More on that a bit later. Bran Bronzebeard. The Bran Bronzebeard questlines are must-do for emblems, at least if you're Alliance. The Master Explorer and Hidden Relic quest net a sweet 5 emblems each. And it'd be really sweet if you subscribed, liked the video, and hit the notification bell because more people deserve to know about these easy emblems. Ice Crown time. It's Ice Crown time, and boy are there some awesome emblem quests over here. Wait, take these add-ons first. I'm using a really helpful week hour called Emblems of Heroism Quest Tracker, which, well, automatically tracks the quests that give emblems. I'm also using the Attune add-on to make rep quest chains stress-free. Crusader's Pinnacle. Crusader's Pinnacle is one of the most memorable and rewarding quest chains in Wrath. The chain starts with Into the Frozen Heart of Northrend from Father Gustav and ends with Light Within the Darkness. You'll get 9 emblems just for finishing the quest chain. Orgrim's Hammer I highly recommend doing the Orgrim's Hammer Horde quest chain starting from Warlord Hork Strongbow, which gives another 13 emblems. For Alliance, that's the Skybreaker quest chain starting from Marshal of Alias. The chain requires pre-quests from the Crusader's Pinnacle and the Shadow Vault. The Opportunity Quest for Horde, or Exploiting an Opening for Alliance even give 5 Emblems as a nice bonus. Plus, they're needed for other Emblem quest chains. The Shadow Vault The Shadow Vault questline starts from Kaltira Deathweave around Orgrim's Hammer, or Thessarian on the Skybreaker. It's a must-do for 11 more Emblems, plus it unlocks some of my favorite dailies in the entire game. Got extra Verkul Bones? The Bone Witch you unlock gives you awesome buffs to make questing an Ice Crown much easier. So what about that 30 Emblem chain everybody's been talking about? It's time for Citadel's Footstep. This monster quest line starts off with Black Watch from Baron Silver. This is a very long and epic quest chain, but it's absolutely worth it. Several of the quests in this chain even give 5 Emblems each. Now you've also unlocked tons of easy dailies for free gold. Go watch my daily quest in gold route to get 600 gold a day.